All right, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we are talking about 45 Broad Street. Now this is a currently stalled project in downtown Manhattan. It is in the financial district. This would be a 1,115 foot tall residential tower. Uh, so this building had been stalled for a few years, kind of stalled back in 2020 or so, and um, hadn't had much happen since until last year there were released some updated renderings of this project. So we're going to talk about this. Um, it's still not really, you know, much going on with it right now. It's been over a year since those new renderings were released, um, but there hasn't been much progress or anything. But we're going to talk about this because... I'm going to be honest, this might be the worst redesign I have ever seen of a skyscraper. I mean, absolutely a terrible redesign. Uh, so we'll talk about this real quick. Now, the redesign does, it might possibly be, a, it looks to be a little shorter than the 1,115 feet planned for the building originally. Now, they don't state whether, you know, what the updated height would be, uh, but it just based off the renderings does look shorter. So it might not be a super tall if you... Uh, go with this newest, uh, you know, renderings of this project, but they haven't released an updated height, so I'm, I'm still going to call it, you know, the uh, 15 or 1115 foot tall um, or so. But the new ones say about a 50, it's about 52 stories on these newer renderings, so you know, you would have to imagine it being a lot shorter than 1115 feet. Uh, but yeah, so obviously, uh, we don't know the exact height, but that's the best we can go off with these newer renderings. So this building would have about 302 units across about 221,000 square feet of space. Um, and this would be on 45 Broad Street down in the financial district. So that's kind of what this building is. It's been stalled for a while. It was approved. It was under construction, starting construction, and then stalled out um, and kind of had to get redesigned. So this is the current design, the updated design of the building, which, I mean, it's not terrible. It's just kind of your classic bland um you know, your classic bland skyscraper. I mean, there's not much going on. You have a little bit of stuff there at the crown of the building. Um, you have, so you have a little bit, it's not, it's not a terrible design at all. It is not terrible. I would not hate seeing this go up by any means at all. Um, I'm not saying this is a really bad design or anything like that, uh, but you'll see what I'm talking about once I show the new, uh, the uh, old design for this building and how much better that design is. So as you can see, I mean, it's, you know, it's just nothing special. You have your regular design here, and I think that's the same picture. But here's the old design. Um, we'll get to the old design. Here's the old design. I mean, it's an Art Deco inspired, similar to the Brooklyn Tower that was built. You got the bronze. You have, I mean, it's just so much better. I mean, look at how much better this looks compared to the other one. It's a unique skyscraper. It would be a landmark size skyscraper. I mean, just leagues better. This is a fantastic looking building right here. And this goes along the lines with the new, you know, the Art Deco going up with the uh, the uh, you know the Brooklyn Tower and this also with the bronze that fits the aesthetic of the J.P. Morgan Chase building that was is recently you know is getting completed uh, so I mean this would go start fitting in very well it's just a great looking building I don't know why they thought this design wasn't going to be good obviously they could have scaled it down they could have just made it smaller you know kept a very similar aesthetic but they decided to completely change the aesthetic of this building I have no idea why uh, I think the I really like the bronze buildings, I'm going to be honest, because you can still get that modern look, but it's not just, you know, glass walls, you know, just walls of glass going up. You know, it gives you some more unique, some character to the buildings, and you can throw in some more ornamental things. Like in the uh, midsection of the building, you have an atrium there. Um, you can, you know, you can have stuff like this, and it, it just looks better. It fits into the building better than when you have glass and you do this, that it can look, you know, it can look a little odd when you do this. So... You can make stuff like this look way better. You can have these nice atriums with kind of ornamental columns and stuff like that. And it just looks way better in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, I would have to call this one of the worst redesigns of a building I've ever seen. I'm going to be honest, this old design is fantastic and that new design is just pretty standard. Just nothing special about it at all. Um, so yeah, we'll see uh, what happens to this building. Obviously, it is still kind of on hold. There's not much going on right now. So we will have to wait and see what becomes of this site. If they build this or uh, the updated design or if they redesign it again or if they just completely cancel this project um, and start from the drawing board again. So yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts. Which of these designs you like more? And yeah, 